Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. We are now in Lucerne, Switzerland. Uh, we got in last night, uh, probably about eight o'clock after a long, long, long travel day. Now we have checked into uh, Chateau Gooch. Yeah, so they turned this old castle uh, into a hotel and now it's a uh, four-star hotel. Um, super expensive, not normally uh, something that we would pick, but man, the views from up here are absolutely insane as far as the inside of the hotel goes and the room and everything like that I'll just have to show you guys actually have uh, quite the excursion planned for the day um, since we're so high up on the mountain right here we actually have to take a vernacular down so what we have planned for the day is we are going to uh, go back down into downtown um, I think we're gonna walk over to the little uh, lake area and then we'll hop on a paddle boat it's one of those like big gigantic casino looking paddle boats and it'll take us all the way across the lake uh, till we get to a place called Mount Pilatus course that you can do and then uh, just a little bit of a hike uh, down the trail is where the toboggan starts so this is gonna be exciting and uh, man we just we had to stop here uh, and just take it all in for a little bit man because the uh, like I said the views from up here are breathtaking so man you got to add this to your list uh, if you come to Lucerne <laughs> All right guys, so we just got to the top here. It's a little bit of a hike, so uh, if you come up here, I do recommend you wearing some uh, hiking shoes or tennis shoes or something because it's not uh, exactly the, the best road to get up here, uh, but not that difficult. But uh, we're up here, and uh, if you can see behind me, this is where the uh, toboggan starts. It's kind of a long run all the way down to the bottom, so it looks e extremely fun. Uh, you can kind of see everybody going along uh, the side of you down in the toboggan and then there's a, um, a like a little lift that lifts you back up so uh, we're gonna go down this I think it costs about eight euro I mean sorry nine franc it's Europe's longest toboggan run yeah so Mount it's Pilates. so it's uh, cost nine franc per ride and it's the uh, longest toboggan ride uh, here so we're gonna give this a shot I, I don't know if, she she's thinking that she can beat me but i don't i don't know so we're gonna uh we're gonna try to do a side by side uh and uh see if we can get both of us going down i'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work but uh yeah i'm gonna whoop her ass yeah, right. okay let's go
That's too much fun. So we just stopped here at the top to have a beer and uh, get some food, little finger snacks, a little uh, meat and cheese plate. But um, man, this, this whole little mountain thing has been spectacular. You can't beat the views from the top, the whole experience, the ride, the toboggan. The one thing I can't really do for all of this, it was kind of a package deal with our hotel. We ended up paying about a hundred franc uh, per person to do it, and that includes uh, all three things, uh, getting up and down the, uh, the gondola um, and getting back home. So I'm not exactly sure how to price it out individually for you guys, um, but it was about $100 for all three things uh, per person. And it also takes uh, pretty much all of your day. So $100 a day, I can deal with that. So we're just gonna sit here and uh, have a beer and uh, eat some meat and cheese. And then we'll be headed back down to the bottom and then that's where the boat ride uh, will be across the lake. If it looks anything like it does from up here, then it's gonna be great down there. White snow, red sky, reach up for a soul so high. Blue eyes, fake cry, beware of the fox tonight. Cold feet, a dark rain. Thank you. Thank you too, bye. All right guys, uh, so we are just kind of finishing up our day and um, we had an awesome day. Um, took the uh, tram up to Mount Pilatus, uh, hiked around there for a little while, took the trolley back down. Man, we had a gondola ride in the middle, just all kinds of stuff today. Um, but man, the views from the top are incredible. So for right now, we're gonna walk back to the hotel, uh, probably get changed up, maybe do a little dinner and then um, See what else downtown uh, Lucerne holds. Hey right, guys, we uh, finally made it back out of town. Uh, got a little cleaned up, man. It, it got really, really hot here in Lucerne. We're gonna go to a fondue restaurant. Original uh, idea was to, to get a bucket of fondue, go out into the middle of a field, and you know, have a kind of like a picnic thing. But uh, that didn't work out, so we're gonna go to this other restaurant that's uh, supposed to be really good. And uh, so yeah, I can't wait to stuff my face with a bunch of freaking cheese. Cheers. So this is our fondue appetizer. All right guys, here goes. Poke the bread, put it in the cheese, swirl it around, eat it. It's pretty good. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. We'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys, that was an awesome dinner um, at a place called, we'll call it Feistern. How about that? But um, yeah, it was an awesome dinner. Uh, fondue was great. Uh, bratwurst was even better. But um, so we're gonna head back uh, to the hotel, get some rest, and then we'll be after this uh, town again tomorrow. Catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.
Good morning, everybody. It is our last full day here in Lucerne. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but probably about 98% of the hotel rooms here in Lucerne don't have AC. Um, a lot of them do have fans, but they don't have AC units. Normally, it's not that big of a deal, but considering uh, Europe is kind of going through a heat wave right now, uh, I think the temperature got up to about 29 or 30 degrees Celsius in the room. Given that, uh, you know, Lucerne is about 80 degrees right now as we're walking through town what better way to spend a day than uh, jumping in Lake Lucerne it's icy. a little chilly yeah but it's nice <laughs> it's very refreshing oh. Oh. So as you guys are walking over the uh, the old historic bridges here in downtown Lucerne, uh, make sure to look up because you see these little uh, triangle uh, pictures. They have words uh, in Swiss German underneath. I think it's Swiss German. Uh, that are in Swiss German underneath. They actually tell a story about Lucerne. And obviously we don't read Swiss German so we can't read the story. But um, they're very cool pictures. And um, I'm sure the story is fantastic. So we'll have to look that up and uh, see what it says. It's like gonna get in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get in the backpack? Thief. Have you guys ever been to the uh, Blue Balls Festival? Not exactly sure what this uh, little sidewalk or street is called, but uh, it has these really cool trees that uh, form kind of a canopy all the way down. Oh. So this place right here is called Seabad. It's basically a floating dock. You pay six franc to get into it. Two levels. First level is like the changing rooms and a little bit of restaurant and bar. And then on the second level is pretty much where everybody kind of lays out. You can rent a chair or an umbrella. Uh, they do have some umbrellas up top. Otherwise you just pretty much like grab a towel and lay on the ground, I guess. You can go downstairs and uh, hop in the water, which is super refreshing on a hot day like this. Looks like somebody parked my car out front. So maybe you want to give us a brief <laughs> synopsis of uh, what the significance of this was monument coming. was coming? So um, it's the, one of the most famous Swiss monuments um, and it was um, erected to honor the 700 fallen Swiss soldiers uh, that were hired to protect King Louis XVI and when he was in prison during the French Revolutionary War um, they basically the the French common folk basically murdered 700 of uh, the Swiss mercenaries or hired army, if you will. And so this uh, monument is to commemorate the 700 that lost their lives protecting the king of the There you have it, folks. Jin's car. Man, somebody keeps moving my car. So we had uh, one last stop before we headed back to the hotel. Stopped and ate on a, on a place called uh, Opus. It had some octopus, uh, I had some ravioli, and we had a couple drinks. And typical uh, to Lucerne in Switzerland is very expensive. It was very good food though, but it was very expensive. Uh, ran us about 95 franc. It was good food, but it's, everything here is very expensive, so... You can't get out of this town for under $100 a meal. Yeah, so we kind of kind of uh, desensitized to it, and uh, we'll just uh, enjoy our few days here, and then um, we'll move on to Zurich and then back home. So, But, like I said, it was our last stop uh, before we head back to the hotel, and then uh, I think we've got a little bit of uh, sunlight left, and uh, I might get the drone out. It's a, it's a nice day, and uh, so I might put the, uh, the drone up and see what kind of stuff we can get. All right, good morning you guys. It is Saturday morning and uh, we're just checking out of uh, Chateau Gouche. 
We, uh, we had some time to think about Lucerne in itself and kind of the experiences we've had since we've been here. Came to the conclusion that it kind of won our hearts over. We walked around downtown yesterday. It wasn't as crowded as it was the day before. We went to some restaurants that were really, really good. Um, did some activities that were really, really fun. And you cannot beat the views from the hotel. You can't beat the views from the river down uh, in the city center. Everything in general is just gorgeous here. So pretty much Lucerne has won our hearts back. Um, it is a very, very charming town, a very charming city, and uh, I think we'll definitely be back. But for right now, we are all packed up, had a little bit of breakfast, and uh, we are headed back to Zurich. Uh, we're we're going to be hanging out in Zurich for the next couple days, <clears throat> and even catching uh, Zurich Fest. Thank you guys all for watching, and uh, as always, follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. So hit the subscribe button. We'll be pumping out a lot more videos here soon. So thanks guys for watching, and uh, have a good one.